we're going to try a pistol again. This right here, while it looks like a, a 1911, and it should look pretty much identical to a 1911, it's not a 1911. This is actually a Spanish Star B. Now, the Spanish Star B, uh, of course, it was made in Spain, and this right here is a 9mm. Um, they're a little bit unique. While they, they look identical to like a 1911, uh, they actually don't really share any parts. Um, you can tell which series it is by looking at the butt. In this case right here, there's a B. Uh, there can also be a Super or some other um, codes you'll find there. Just below that is your serial number. And you'll notice on the slide, it'll say star, and it'll say SA. Well, it's not a star, it's not a star SA. SA is more like uh, the equivalent of corporation. So it'll be star corporation. Um, some of the codes, there's a bunch of codes on this. And really to get through the codes, you should go to a website. The website is wwwstar firearms Dot com and they list all the different codes and everything on here there's a tremendous amount of codes to figure out the dates involved um, right on the trigger guard here there's uh, like the flaming bomb and it has a P on the inside that's a proof mark and this means it was proof mark after 14 December 1929 um, the only way you can find out the date is just above the proof mark on here. It's also got a proof mark back here. You probably find them a few other places. Uh, but just above the proof mark here, you'll find a letter code. And in my case, it's, a no it's N, November, so it'll be a November tilde. And the November tilde is on 1943. So this pistol right here was made in 1943. Um, the only problem with the pistol is it has pretty much a very exaggerated now, on, on the back here, uh, on a 1911, the mainspring housing is removable. You just pop the pin out and it'll slide out. And you can put in a flat one, curved one. Well, this right here, it's machined right in and it's very highly exaggerated. It's got a really big, narrow one and that tends to bite into the hand just a bit. Um, other than that, it's got a really good feel. It's just standard 1911 feel to it. All the controls on this particular pistol are 1911. The magazine release is where you normally find it. Slide release is where you find it. And the safety, they're all exactly the way you normally see it on a 1911. And this right here just assembles looks like a 1911 as well. Um, I have fired this quite a few times. Like I said, this is 9mm. And this, this is a nice shooting weapon. It really is. Uh, these were CNR weapons and you know, curio and relics. So if you had a CNR license, you could purchase one of these fairly cheaply. And they're kind of hard to find now, but you can still find parts. Uh, go to that website I, I mentioned, and you know, they have a parts list where you can find all the accessories and stuff, where you can find magazines. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this pistol. This is a good sidearm. You know, I'm, I'm a 1911 person myself. Uh, I used to shoot Combat 45 while in the military. So you know, I, I'm used to the competitions and things in this kind of a layout. So this right here would suit me just fine. Um, I've owned it for probably five or six years. I've never really had a jam. It's been very reliable. Uh, the only time it's never functioned is when I've shot plastic ammunition out of it. And you know, obviously plastic ammunition doesn't cycle the weapon. So you know, it, it wasn't supposed to cycle and it didn't. And plastic ammo is a lot of fun with us, even though you have to cycle it each time. But when you're just out practicing and you know, testing, practicing, plastic ammunition was very accurate in this weapon. I have to admit, it was far more accurate than I thought it could be. So there you go, that's the Star Model B. And like I said, you know, check out the date codes. Um, actually, on this side, check out the date codes. Make sure that you know, your weapon is in good condition before you shoot it. Uh, they've got the 9mm Largo, and the Largo is a lot different than the 9mm. Uh, you got to really watch the ammunition issues and things like that. Like I said, go to the website.
That right there is the Spanish Starbee.